Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nolan here, and welcome back to another Destiny video. And to the Destiny video, we're going to be looking at some of the notable roles from the vendors this week. As you know, the vendors refresh every week with the weekly refresh. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the weapons you may want to pick up this week. Alright, so our first up here is going to be by the Vanguard Quartermaster. And the most notable thing here is their sidearm. It has a faster fire rate, but slightly lower impact than the Wormwood. And the role that we have is Reactive Reload, High Color Rounds, and Outlaw. Outlaw and Reactive Reload pair up very nice with each other. And Reactive Reload can actually take this weapon from a 4 shot kill to a 3 shot kill. And that just makes this sidearm just kill so fast. I actually really like Reactive Reload my sidearms. It makes winning 2v1s with the sidearm just a lot easier. High Color Rounds, also very nice on the sidearms. Just messing with your enemy same. So yeah, if you want to pick up something from the Banger Quartermaster, make sure the sidearm. Alright, so next stop here is Future Workout. And first of all, with Future Workout, we're going to look at the Wounded because it's the highlight this week. Crack Control, Hammer Forge, or Outlaw, and High Calorie Rounds. If you like Fuaro, well, there's Fuaro, but I just prefer High Calorie Rounds on this archetypes of Scout Rifles. I just think that they pair up really well with Outlaw, especially. So it's a pretty solid scout rifle. If you guys don't have a scout rifle or PE, you guys may consider this one. Other weapons to consider here: the warm with of course, reactive reload, fitted stock, high caliber rounds. It's very similar to the other one, just that it doesn't have outlaw. It has fitted stock instead, which will increase your stability a little bit. And then the well is kind of there, not really amazing. It does have fire flight, but that's Pretty much the only thing it has going for it. Alright, so now moving on to Dead Orbit. I think Dead Orbit are the winners when it comes to good rolls this week. Because just look at the roll on this auto rifle. The stream of file. 0 1 1. Counterbalance, perfect balance, high calorie rounds. Oh, baby, is this thing gonna be annoying in the crucible? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely quite an amazing roll on this. Out of rifle. So if you guys are only planning to pick up one weapon from this video, let it be this one because this one is the highlight of the week. The best weapon. This damn out of rifle. Other notable things here. Rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is really similar to the warpath from last week. Cluster bombs, tripod, fuel scout. You're gonna have a lot of rockets and a lot of damage with this rocket launcher. It has a faster fire rate than the warpath. Unfortunately, those have a very small blast radius. It's not like the World War part where it has a huge blast radius. And the velocity is about the same. So yeah, you missed out on the War Pad last week. This can definitely be a good substitute to it. Because it's basically the same role. Do that. With a bit less blast radius and a higher fire rate. Alright, so not stopping by with the Crucible Quartermaster. And um, we're going to look at the B-29 again. Yes. <laughs> yes, the B-29 again. He seems to get such good rolls though. Rangefinder, perfect balance, take a knee or outlaw. This time we have more range than the last time, thanks to Rangefinder, but a bit less stability. Unless you activate the take a knee perk, then you have a lot of stability. But this is definitely a pretty nice roll if you guys missed out on some of the amazing pulse rifle rolls that were there last week. This might be a nice one. Other notable weapons here would be the palindrome. Look in the chamber, reinforced barrel. And then Mulligan or Partial Refund. I don't really like either of these perks, but they're fine. Another problem that I have with this Palindrome though, is that it doesn't really have a good sight. It has fast draw, steady hand, and quick draw. So yeah, not, not really any anything amazing. But if you guys are looking for a good Palindrome, and you don't have one, whoever you are that doesn't have a Palindrome, this would be a good one, especially if you like Lucky the Chamber in your hand cannons, but maybe you guys picked up the one last week which also had Lucky the Chamber. I'm sorry New Monarchy guys, nothing really amazing for New Monarchy this week. They had an amazing machine gun last week, so you know they gotta they gotta take a break I guess. So no amazing rolls from New Monarchy this week. And with that guys we're gonna finish up this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed, leave a like if you did, this like if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And remember to leave a comment in the comments below telling me which weapon you are planning on getting this week. Thank you for watching now. See you guys in the next video. Take care everyone.